Opening round of the Chevron World Challenge from Sherwood Country Club outside of LA, the first challenge season event of 2010, hosted by Tiger Woods. Some great shot making on day one. Zach Johnson chipping in there at uh, 16 on his way to a 75. Paul Casey said, uh, you know what? I can deliver an encore performance from just off the green at 13. Just melts over the front edge, 73 for the Englishman on day one. His fellow countryman Ian Poulter putting well. Birdie here at 14, even par 72 for Poulter. He's tied for eighth on the leaderboard. Camilo Bajegas, his regular caddy Brett Waldman's at Q School this week. Doing just fine without him. Birdie at 17 is 70 for Spider-Man. He's tied for sixth with this man, Luke Donald, the 2005 champion. Strong finish today for Luke. Second here at 18. Oh yeah, dart led to a birdie. And Donald shot two under par, 70. Northern Ireland's Grand McDowell. The US Open champion's been playing a lot of golf. Boy, six straight events over three continents. Said he was feeling a little tired, a little jet lag. Didn't show it on that one. Beautiful tee shot at eight, 66 for McDowell, matched by his countryman here, Rory McElroy, who made eagle at 11. And they are one back of the overnight leader. World number two, Tiger Woods, could reclaim the top spot in the world rankings with a victory here this week. Struck it well, only had to hit some recovery shots occasionally, like this one at the 10th. And then at 12, watch this. Awkward stance, thick line, great shot. He was calling for it to go in about halfway there. It didn't drop, but Woods did. And then at 16, Kept the mojo going on the par fives, which he hammered throughout the day. Oh, come on, be right. Oh, he loves it. Birdied all the par fives, including this one at 16. Woods shoots 65 to take a one-shot lead after 18 holes of the Chevron World Challenge in SoCal.